Hey guys, it's Kim. So for this week's video, I'm going to do a Primark haul. As you can tell, I was recently in London. It kind of went ham in Primark because of great prices and stuff with the exchange rate and everything. So I guess I'll just get right into it. The only thing that's a bit different is the sizes and clothes and stuff from US sizes to UK sizes is different. So you normally have to go up like a size or two sizes. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a warning. <laughs> So I guess I'll just get into it. So the first thing I have here is a romper. And I'm not someone to buy rompers or anything like that. But this was cheap. And I'm going away next year on a cruise. So I figured if worse comes to worse, I can wear it to that. But it's just this romper. You can see the drawstring there and the shorts. And that's the top. It's just like a blue and white patterned. The pattern goes like up and down so yeah like this and this was only five pounds so it wasn't even like 10 bucks Canadian so you're never gonna get that for here that for that price here this thing that I have is a t-shirt now I wore this t-shirt in my last video of my May favorites so if you do want to see like know what it's like on I'll link it up here in the cards and I'll link it down below this is like an off the shoulder top you can wear it normally or off the shoulder but it's just this blue pattern that has like white and red flowers on it and then there's like little I don't know if you could see it there but like little things on the sleeves but yeah love this shirt great for summer and fall and spring and every season so you have I don't know how I'm going to show you because it's still like stuck together but it's pajamas um so they're just white like plaid shorts but the top is grumpy from Snow White and it just says someone's grumpy on it so yeah I'm a fairly grumpy person in the morning so I thought this was suiting to me and this was they were I think seven pounds the next thing I have is more of like a dressier shirt it's like a coral color I don't know if you can see it or not there in the thing but there is like right here at the v-neck part there is like a chain it or not. There's like two balls on each end and then a chain that connects it just right at the V so it just adds a little bit of something to the shirt just to make it a little bit different. I think that might have been eight pounds. The next thing I have is just this black like three quarter length. Now it's a fairly like see-through shirt but it's a thin shirt and then it has this like lace detailing or crochet detailing on the top that's on the front and on the back. I think I paid seven pounds for that shirt. I can wear that shirt to work too because I'd wear all black to work so. I kind of had that in mind too when I was buying this stuff. I know I shouldn't be thinking work clothes but you know I was. The next one I have is this black shirt. It's more of like a blouse I guess. It has, it's more of like a three quarter length sleeve. It has this here on the sleeves and then on the back it has a gold zipper. Now this one here was a more expensive shirt that I bought actually. This one here was nine pounds. but. It's great. It has a bit of a higher neckline. So this one here will look really good with like a chunky necklace. Now this one here is the last article of clothing I have. This here is just a white top and it has like I guess like crochet detail. It's just from like the neckline to the shoulder. This one here is a long sleeve. It's very similar to that black one that I already had. Um, and this one here was seven pounds. The only thing that I found with Primark sizes and stuff is that I was very in between sizes like one size would be way too big and if I went down one it would be like uh, just a bit too tight so normally I had to go up for it to be big but that's all you can do now the last few things I have are kind of random um, I have a bunch of obviously they're not real but they're just just a pack of pearl earrings um, I used to wear pearls all the time in my first holes and my second holes as I had my ears pierced twice but I find all mine have turned and I've lost the backs or they don't match up anymore or anything. So I got this pack of six different size earrings for a pound. So it's like two bucks. Like you cannot go wrong with that. Like you can't beat that. Now the last two things I have are shoes. Now these are more... I'm not like into sneakers and heels and all that stuff. But like these ones here are slip-on shoes. Um, these ones here are navy. Um, but yeah, I love UK shoe sizes because it makes me feel like my feet are actually normal size. Like I'm a size 9 
and in US sizes and I'm like a size 7 in the UK and I love it because it makes me feel like my feet are like average size but um yeah these ones here are navy they're just like slip on ones they're like fake toms type of a thing but they're great with just like a pair of jeans and a plain t-shirt and they were three pounds three pounds that's like six bucks yeah, so similar to the other ones, these I keep seeing people wear these shoes. I was actually gonna buy them before my trip to London at Payless, but they were like twenty five bucks. But I got them. They're just white, like slip on canvas shoes. They have like the eyelet pattern. They're in flowers. I got these for four pounds, so for eight dollars. So by waiting, I saved myself a lot of money. So yeah, love these. These are great for the summer, just for slipping on with a pair of jeans and running errands and all that stuff. And the last thing I bought was this tote bag. It just says London on it, obviously with the handle. It has the scene on it. Yeah, and a heart. And I brought back some of these and stuff for my friends, but like this was like not even two pounds, I don't think. So it's great for putting like your lunch in or if you're just out running errands, you can use it as like a reasonable bag or whatever. So yeah. That is everything I got at Primark. I do my May favorites. I can't believe May is over. I don't have two